these things just come to me. Some people arrive on chariots, some people pick white horses. You know, here in Perth, I, I choose camels. Talk to us about how you feel in this fight week compared to when you return against David Branch. Obviously, you had a long layoff. Now you've sort of shaken off the cage rust. How, how different is this fight week for you compared to that last fight? Uh, it's different. You know, I got a guy that, that's confident in himself. Uh, he's not. He's not running scared at me. Uh, he's. He's gonna be patient. He's gonna be find his timing. And uh, you know, you have two professionals, two of the highest caliber guys. We know what's at risk here. We know what's at stake. And. Uh, gonna get a fight man I mean it's I know I know I'm in for a fight he knows he's in for a fight and uh and we prepared each other for this moment we've been meaning to fight for a long fucking time and it's it's coming I remember UFC 194 after you won the UFC middleweight title and people were looking at you well you were both on the on the press conference table and you sort of jokingly laughed and said you know if you were to fight he would seriously need to improve his cardio he'd need to work on that do you still feel, do you feel like he's improved his cardio or do you feel like it's a similar Yoel to two years ago? I think you, I think Yoel's body has limitations. Uh, I think his mind, he has the mindset of a champion. He, he'll come forward, he's competed on every level um, against the best guys in the world in so many different stages around the world. So he, he'll fight, he'll fight to the end. His mind will tell him to, but his body will break. His body, like a body like that, can only be built to go so so hard and so long. And those explosions will get less and less as the fight goes on. And so I have to contain that. Uh, if I don't catch him early, you know, he, he coming in, coming in sloppy, coming in crazy. Um, this fight's going to dramatically change for me as as it goes on. I'm going to take advantage of this fight. and I'm going to start running away. He's he's coming up a very short preparation for this. About a one month. Uh, he was fighting the week after me. Everyone needs to talk. Shut up about that. This man's ready to fight. Don't 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 give me shit like that. He knows what's going on right now. One week after our fight, he was ready to go. So this is not no short preparation. This fight is is everything. You guys have got two well prepared fighters, two so well prepared athletes ready to fight for a world title. So you're not expecting to come at hard out of the gate in the first couple of rounds. I don't know. You know, I don't I, I don't know if he is or not. You know, he he might think he can. Anytime you come out hard like that, you run a risk of getting caught. I've dropped more people. <laughs> then, then him with my right hook and my shots coming forward. I'm a defensive striker. Uh, David Branch almost hit a few and almost put him down. So, you know, wants to take that risk run forward. He could eat some just as easy. Everyone's got a button. Everyone's been touched. Everyone get dropped. You know, Tim Kennedy put him out. So, you know, he's he's got to be aware of that. I'm not I'm not no slouch going backwards, coming forwards. I can fight you anywhere and everywhere. You run risks when you run forward like an idiot. You know, I'm a I'm a precise I'm a precise fighter. I fight five rounds. And I, I'm not coming just to waste myself in one. We spoke to Javier Mendes about Coke. Will Henry also be in your corner? Is he here yet? He, he's got a bit of a cold or a sickness. Here. Henry's got, yeah, he's got a bit of a sickness. He's uh, It's been pretty bad, but uh, he's on his way here. He'll be here this evening. How exactly will that work in the corner? you got three really strong minds in, in, in the game. Who's sort of taking which duties? Uh, you know, it's... Uh, comes down to everyone knows the role. I've been training with Henry for the majority of the last two camps, so um, he's going to be more so seeing, you know, what we've been working on and where we're at. Javier, you know, puts plants things in my head all week that we've been talking about what we work on. Um, we'll, tell, we'll let Henry take the lead, and and uh, Bob Cook's always uh, always got words of wisdom for me too. So I would imagine those two will be my, my voices. You you got to limit your how many voices you're going to come at you. You want to get everything built into your subconscious. So I have my people, and, and everyone knows how to work together seamlessly. It's a, it's a great, great team. I couldn't ask for anything better than AK and, and, and Hooked and Greg Jones and all the guys there. How's the weight cut coming along this time around? Last time you mentioned it was a little bit harder. How's this one coming along? It never gets any easier. You know, I'm getting older, and my bones are getting thicker, and it, and it gets harder to get down to this weight. You know, having this uh, open workout on a Friday, it's tough. <laughs> but I feel good. Um, I've got I got a great team around me with Lockhart and Leith. They got my nutrition down to a science. So I'm on, I'm, on, I'm ahead of schedule this time around, and uh, I'll, be, I'll be I'll be fine. But uh, 205 is imminent. You know, DC moving up to, to light heavyweight. I'll, I mean, to heavyweight. He's not coming back, so uh, I'll be up there soon. So that so that opens up the window for you. The fact that DC won't be a light heavyweight. You plan on moving up to light heavyweight as well at some point. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I've mentioned that many times, and it's it's. Uh, like I said, it's imminent. I'll be up there soon.